Stackdriver is a great platform that lets developers and operators measure and improve service reliability. However, collecting a lot of data will make it hard to find the information you need, and you may be paying too much. Today, we'll get into understanding and managing your logging and monitoring costs. This is The Stack Doctor. Over the last two episodes, we reviewed using Open Census and Prometheus to add custom metric instrumentation to your services. But what is that going to mean for your cloud spend? Let's start by reviewing how Stackdriver monitoring is priced. This is the current pricing, but make sure to check the pricing page linked below for up-to-date information. The first thing to understand is that monitoring is charged by the volume of data required to store monitoring metrics that aren't generated by GCP services. This means that metrics from the monitoring agent or custom metrics sent by instrumentation like Open Census or Prometheus will result in charges. The second thing to understand is how to translate metrics to volume. The key to that is to use a rough rule of thumb to treat a single time series data point as eight bytes of data. So if we sample a single time series every minute for a month, that'll generate about one third of a megabyte of data. You will then be charged based on the total volume of data collected for all of the metrics that are being collected in the project. Now that we understand how monitoring is priced, we need to see how much data we're actually ingesting and storing. And we can do that in two places, in the billing console and in Stackdriver itself. First, let's start with the billing console. You can access it from the Cloud Console by going to the Products menu, selecting Billing, and then going to Reports. From there, you can search through just the costs associated with the Stackdriver monitoring and narrow the report to the projects you are responsible for managing. This is a great way to understand your historical usage and costs. You can also see usage information in the Stackdriver workspace by going to the Workspace Settings and selecting Usage Details. Here, you can see exactly how much metric data is being ingested from every project that is being monitored by the workspace. Finally, metrics that show how much monitoring data is being ingested are available in Stackdriver itself. You can use them to do things like create dashboards and alert on unexpected spikes in monitoring data. Now, you know where your monitoring costs are coming from. But what can you do to actually manage that volume or even reduce it? The first thing to look at may be your custom metric instrumentation. Frameworks like Open Census and Prometheus generate a lot of metrics when you first start using them. You may not need all that information. For example, the node exporter will provide the same information you're getting from GKE node monitoring. Review the work you've done to add custom metrics to your service and determine whether all of them are really necessary. The second thing you should review is your use of labels. The way that you use labels for GCP components might impact the volume of time series that are generated for your metrics and monitoring. For example, you can use labels on your VMs to appropriately report metrics to cost centers on your GCP bill and to signify whether specific GCP environments are production or development. But adding these labels means that additional time series are generated in monitoring. If you label your virtual machines with cost center and environment uh, values, then you can calculate the total number of time series by multiplying the cardinality of both labels. So if there are 11 cost center values and five environment values, that means that 55 time series are generated. This is why the way that you add labels might add significant metric volume and therefore increase the cost. Of course, labels are helpful when you're looking to organize your resources, but you may be able to reduce your complexity and cost. Finally, you can look at your monitoring agent configuration. Metrics sent from the monitoring agent are chargeable metrics. The monitoring agent streams application and system metrics from common third-party applications and additional GCP virtual machine level metrics. If you don't need the detailed system metrics or metrics from the third-party apps for certain virtual machines, you can reduce the volume by not sending these metrics. You can also reduce the metric volumes by reducing the number of VMs using the monitoring agent. Now that we've covered how to understand and manage your monitoring costs, let's move on to logging. Let's review logging pricing. The model here is very straightforward. You are charged based on the amount of volume data ingested in the project over the free threshold. You should know that unlike monitoring where some metrics do not incur any charges, all logs ingested incur charges. Next, let's move on to reviewing logging charges. As with monitoring, this information is available on the billing console, the cloud console, and in Stackdriver itself. In the billing console, you can filter the data to just report on Stackdriver logging to understand the exact cost being generated by each project. To better understand why a particular project might be generating high logging charges, 
you can see detailed information under Login Gestion in the Login menu. This view provides a service level breakdown of exactly where the logging charges in your project are coming from. To get even more detailed information, you can select the view in Metrics Explorer for any row to get a historical view of how these resources were generating log data over time. You can then use this view to create charts and dashboards to easily access this information in the future. Now that you understand how to capture, measure, and analyze your logging costs, let's dive into some options for managing them. Our primary mechanism to control log ingestion is log exclusions. They allow you to either broadly or precisely specify exactly which logs will or will not make it into Stackdriver logging and be available in the log viewer. However, you should remember that logs aren't just discarded when they're excluded. You still have the option of configuring log exports to have them be sent to cloud storage for archival, BigQuery for analysis, or PubSub for delivery to subscribers, even if they're subject to exclusions. Exclusions and exports work together, letting you choose which logs you want to keep for real-time visibility and which logs you want to archive without incurring logging costs. The more complex your applications, the more monitoring and logging you'll need. Knowing how these are priced and how they can be configured can help you manage the resulting costs. Thank you for joining me today, and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.